gosh, it's a raisin fresh. What's happening folks? So obviously it's the first day of the season and um, I'm here on my local river, the White Cart Water in Glasgow, south side of Glasgow. Um, yeah, I've been fishing for about four hours now at this stage, um, casting um, nymphs into some of the deeper pools and also exploring some of the pocket water. But um, I've just come down to this pool here and to my surprise, I've seen a trout rising. Um, it looks like it's coming up quite um, frequently to olives. There's a hatch of olives starting to happen. And so um, I'm fishing with the three-weight um, Vision Nymphomaniac rod. Uh, one of the best things about that rod is that um, if you want to change from nymphs to dry flies, it's very, very easy to do so. So oh, there it's up again. Yes, so it's easy enough to change from nymphs to dry flies. All you have to do is change up the spool. Um, and I've got a weight forward uh, three-weight dry fly line on my other spool. So I'm going to switch over and put on a 12 foot tapered leader, a little bit of um, four pound tippet, and I'm going to tie on um, probably an olive jingler. Um, it's one of the patterns that I've been tying quite a bit post season. And yeah, let's see how we got on. <laughs> First fish of the season. <laughs> I'm a happy boy, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm going to put the camera down because if there's one rising fish, there might be other rising trout as well. And I don't want to waste my time um, talking to myself. <laughs> I want to get out there and find them. So I'm going to uh, put the camera in my bag, go for a little wander, and uh, see how we get on.
Oh, good fish. Good fish. Oh, it's a powerful fish! Oh no! It's a very powerful fish. Oh dear! I think that's the big one I saw in the pool. Right at the beginning when I came down here. Can't really do anything. Can't really do anything here. <laughs> This is a very good fish. Oh, it's a very good fish. My God, so much power. So much power. There we go. Come on, fish. Be good, man. Be good. Get your head up. Head up. Head up. Head up. Head up. Come on, fish. Oh, it's so strong, I just can't do anything. Come on, fish. <laughs> Every time I think I'm making games on it. Here we go, head up. Come on, sir. Come on, fishy. This is a stunner. Come on, head up. Here we go, fish. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Two. Three pounds. Three pounds, look. Three pounds. I just can't believe we've got this fish. It's 
get you away. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, folks, <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's um, the biggest trout I've caught from this river, definitely. Um, one of the biggest trout I've caught in Scotland, probably. That's absolutely amazing. I'm just, I'm just blown away by the quality of the fish in this river. I mean, that was a three pound wild brown trout from a river that flows through the south of Glasgow. I'm about four miles away from Glasgow Central Station at this point. And for that to be on my doorstep, I just wonder if we all now took the opportunity to really get to know our local waters you know, to, to find the good spots, to really understand the hatches, to work out where the fish are in different depths of water. How many of us actually can, can approach fishing this year and into the future in a much more sustainable way? Um, maybe traveling a lot less and, and, and really, if nothing else, kind of appreciating what's on our doorstep and who knows what else is swimming around in these waters. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna call it a day, I think. So thanks to all of you. Stay tuned, peace.